What kind of cool animals live in the Black Forest? I don't know, but speaking of cool, I'm getting cold. Time to light a fire and set up camp. Okay, I'll set up camp. And why don't you collect wood for the fire? Sure. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, so what are you waiting for? Weren't you gonna get some wood? <laughs> There! Great, so let's get this fire started. Ah, that's better. Whoa, and so is the Black Forest. Yeah, look at all those shadows. It's like there are strange creatures dancing in the trees. Yeah, this place is really cool. Yeah, this is, a uh, fun. <gasps> Something's crawling out of the fire! Is it? Crawling out of the fire? Yeah, go look. No, you go look. No, you look first. Uh, let's look together. Okay, one, two, three, look! Huh? A salamander? From out of the fire? Must be a fire salamander. I read about them in an ancient text that I think I have in my backpack. Here. What? You carry around ancient texts? Yeah, doesn't everybody? Oh, where is it? Aha! The fire salamander, born in the fire. The salamander is created from burning wood, and its skin is unharmed by the hottest flame. Oh, he looks all right to me. He's not burned, but he came out of the fire. Yeah. Well, that makes naming this guy easy. I'll call you Flame. Oh, and this guy, ha. Your name is Sparker. This is incredible. Okay, the scientific name for this species is Salamandra Salamandra, AKA the fire salamander. <gasps> Could you imagine a creature power suit that made us immune to fire? Whoa. <laughs> hey Aviva, I know it sounds too weird to be true, but there is the fire salamander that appears out of burning logs and is immune to fire. Huh? Wow! Whoa, easy cutie. That's too many to eat at one time. He's not eating them, not yet anyway. He's just storing them in his cheeks. Little pockets in his cheeks that hold food so he can carry it back to his den. Okay, he can't possibly fit anymore. <laughs> Silly hamster, that's impossible. <laughs> Don't tell him that. I don't believe it. That's the power of the cheek pouch. I like it, bro. And they don't call them hamsters for nothing. The name comes from the German word hamstern, which means hoarder, someone who collects huge amounts of stuff. <laughs> That's cheeks, all right. Guys, the chips, remember? Back to the search. Ah, oh, if only we had the search and collect power of our little hamster buddy. I know, but we'll never have another creature power again if we don't find those chips. Or if these guys find them first. <gasps> hey, well maybe we can learn from some of the best collectors in the world. Let's split up and follow some wild hamsters. Time to get small. Great idea, bro. If you can't be them, join them. head back to the Tortuga and send out a Wild Kratz Kids Alert to get help. Thanks, Jimmy. Koki and I will be Team Hamster, and we'll head north. And we'll stick with Cheeks. Team Cheeks. Let's find those chips. Mini, Mini tries. tries! Whoa, wait up, Cheeks. Let's head that way. There's a hamster. Now, if we can just find at least three of those lost Micro XT power chips, I can get one of these creature power suits to work. Oh, I know Cheeky Boy can find one. I just know it. 
Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable! It's like there's always room for one more thing. Didn't your parents teach you not to stuff too much food in your mouth? You could choke! Yeah. For a human, it's dangerous to do that. But those hamster cheek pouches are specially adapted to hold a lot. Uh. <gasps> a chip! Cheeks found one! Wait! No! Don't eat it! Cheeks! Uh. Give us uh. that Oh, sorry, buddy, but I gotta squeeze those chubby cheeks. The chip! I've got the chip. You hear that? That's either a train where there are no tracks, or we've found our wild ponies! <gasps> and they're stampeding! Ah! We found the wild ponies. Whoa. Easy, buddy. Hey, why is the stallion mad at us? We didn't do anything. That's his job, to be protective of the band. That's the way a harem works. A social group where one male protects a group of females called mares and the offspring. Offspring? Where? There. Wow. He's only a few weeks old, but can already move around real well. <laughs> and look at the cool pattern and the marking on his face. The white marking looks like a ghost. Cool. Hmm. Let me think of a name that has something to do with ghosts. Look how easily he gets spooked. That's it! He gets spooked, and he has a ghost marking on his face. So his name is Spooky! <laughs> Good one! He's such a funny combination of afraid and brave. And nervous and curious. Oh, his muzzle is so soft. Oh, look how he loves being scratched. <laughs> He's standing on my foot. <laughs> He's nibbling my hair. Spooky, you're the best. Uh-oh. We forgot to tell Aviva and Koki that we found the wild ponies. Oh, yeah. They are really, really into ponies. They told us to tell them right away. Yeah, but Spooky is so distracting. <laughs> He's tickling me. <laughs> Wild ponies! Ah, que linda. Am I really seeing this, or am I dreaming? You're amazing. Koki, look at their beautiful paint patterns. This is magical. Ooh. Hey! Aww. So cute! Oh, hello, little one. You are the sweetest. Your number one creature power is that you are absolutely perfect and beautiful. Activate Asian elephant power! I feel strong and powerful. Oh, yeah. And I feel sorry for those elephants. Didn't you know elephants have feelings too, Paisley? I don't care. They won't have a home here when I'm done anyway. Keep paving. Then we'll have to stop you. To, to the, the elephant, elephant herd rescue. rescue. Rex, stop those colorful elephants. Oh, I love this trunk. Ah, 
with over 40,000 muscles. It's got incredible strength, yeah, and control. This'll stop them. Ah! Uh oh, quick, drying cement. Ah. Yay, fingertips, mom! Wow, two pavers in one swing. No, 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 nature can't win. It's yucky. Time to stop those crack brothers. Well, more cement. No. Sometimes, messy is fun. Whoa! Yeah, nature is fun! No, messy is not fun! Nature is not fun at all! Rex, get me out of here! They can have their dirty elephant home. I'll pave some other paradise. So long, Paisley. She just doesn't get it. Elephants are so kind, as long as they're treated well. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Well, that's mission accomplished. We found out the differences between African and Asian elephants. And the similarities. Both are smart, powerful creatures. With feelings, too. <laughs> And we stop Paisley Paver from ruining the elephant's home with another pointless project. Oh, we're getting jostled a lot. That's what I was saying. In these narwhal power suits, as boy narwhals without horns, we're not getting any respect. Ow. I think you're right, bro. Hey, wait a second. The horn isn't growing out of the narwhal's forehead. It's growing out of the left side, above his mouth. Ow! This guy's too. Right. It's actually growing out of the upper jaw and protruding through the skin. It's a special tooth that grows super duper extra long. So if a narwhal horn is actually made of a tooth, then this horn is really a tusk. Thank you. So that's where the mistake was. No wonder that horn activation malfunctioned. Because technically, that horn isn't a horn at all. It's a tooth! A tusk! Of course! Tusks! Tusks are teeth that protrude from the mouth like walrus and warthogs, or through the cheeks like elephants and narwhals, where the tusk grows out of the jaw through the cheek area and out through the left side of the narwhal's face. This is exactly what I needed to know. Soon we're gonna have a horn. Oh, I mean tooth. Tusk, 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 tusk. Yeah, we've been calling it the wrong thing the whole time. We've got to remember, it's a tusk. Tusk, tusk, tusk. Tusk, 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 tusk. Hey, so how old are you narwhals when you grow your tusk anyway? How old are you now? About two. Hey, what's this? Whoa, your narwhal tusk is growing! Ha ha ha! Congratulations! I'm gonna name you Little Tusker. Whoa, Little Tusker! You are growing a tusk! Awesome! The narwhal power disc is complete! Thanks, Aviva! Now that I have the programming right, the narwhal DNA should direct a tusk to grow from the left side of your helmet. Jimmy? What am I seeing the cupcakes? Incoming! Oh, hold on! <laughs> Teleport! <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, little Tusker, let's try this again. And I hope we get a tusk this time. Reactivate Norwal powers! Feels right. Ah, good 
Good luck finding it, guys. Oh! No disc, but I found a clam. Hey! <laughs> found another clam over here! Hey! Up, oh, just a rock, Jimmy. Whoa! Let's surface. Check it out. An otter has a special fold of skin, like a sack, under her arm where she stores things that she collects on her dives. They should be up any second. A sea otter dive is usually about a minute and a half, but they can dive five minutes if they want to. I did it! I dove like a sea otter! Way to go, Jimmy! Did you find anything? Uh, just a rock so far. It wasn't as cool as a creature power disc, but Coach seemed to like it. <laughs> she took my clam, too. Sorry, Coach. You're not getting that clam open. My rock! Amazing! <laughs> That's the classic sea otter shellfish cracking method. Using a rock as a tool. It's genius. Hey, guys, the disc is still down there. Martin's gonna find it first if you don't get back in the game. Hey, put me down! Uh-oh, Coach, easy! Ah! Ah! Ow! Ah! I'm getting a little shaken up here! Ah! Coach, she's not a shellfish! Well, at least the amphisub held up okay. Ugh. Aviva, coming in for repairs! The amphisub or Koki? Both! Uh -huh. <laughs> I found it! I found the sea otter power disc! Shocker! Yeah, you kept diving while we checked out the otter's awesome tool use, not to mention saving Koki. Guys, fair is fair. Martin gets to activate sea otter power. Oh, yeah! This is gonna be awesome. Activate sea otter power! <laughs> Oh, yeah! Woo! I feel built for the water! Oh, warm coat! Paddle feet! Hydrodynamic body! Oh, woo! Let's go for a swim, coach! What's she doing? She's parking cork. Sea otters anchor their babies in kelp when they go off to look for food. That way, they don't drift away. Now that I have awesome sea otter swimming powers, can we swim through the kelp forest? Hey, bro. What's up, dude? I'm back at the Tortuga. And look who followed me home. Aww. We'll be right there. Wow, bro, you found a red panda? Well, I didn't really find her. She found me. And then she followed me home. Are you sure that's a red panda? Yeah, it's a lot smaller than a panda. Looks more like a raccoon. Or a fox. Or a weasel. Or a cat. So what family of animals is a red panda most closely related to? Wait, 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 wait. I think I know this. Huh? I got it. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, aren't you gonna tell us? Nope. <laughs> you have to guess. It'll be more fun that way. Hmm. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going with bear. Just a small bear. I'll say the red panda is most closely related to the giant panda because they both have panda in the name. Nope, that's a trick. Giant pandas are in the bear family. This girl is not a bear. Oh, I know. She's reddish-orange like a fox. And her face is kind of dog-like. <laughs> Our red panda disagrees. She is not in the dog family. Step aside, Jimmy. I'm going with Weasel, a member of the Mustelid family. Red panda totally fits in with a pine marten, a badger, and a ferret. Oh, nice try. There is a lot of variation in the Mustelid family. From weasels to wolverines to pine martens to otters, but the red panda doesn't belong there. What about raccoons? And kinkajous? And coatis? Aha! 
Yes, I win! Victory! A little too quick on the celebrations, bro. Scientists used to think the red pandas belonged to this family, but not anymore. Aw, well, what is she then? Yeah, who's the red panda most closely related to? Yeah, who? Okay, I'll show you. A, a red, red panda? panda? Yes, a red panda is in its very own family. It's in the family Alluridae. It has its own special family made up of just one species, the red panda. Wow! Oh. Awesome! Yeah, it's a unique species in its own family. And red pandas are not only special, they are rare. Only 10,000 survive in the wild. A spirit bear. Yes, also called the Komodi bear. How could we have forgotten about them? This is the only place in North America where there are actually some black bears that are white. White black bears? Are they albino? No, not albino. It's just a rare hair color. Only about one in 10 black bears in this area are actually white like her. That's so cool. But why? Why are they white? Good question, and I'm glad you asked, because it's time for a Krat Brothers experiment. Uh-oh. Are you sure about this? Oh, yeah. We gotta try to figure out why these bears are white. And it just might have something to do with fishing. Here I come, bears! Bear. <laughs> Getting into position. I'm all ready, Aviva. Okay, bears, on your marks. Get set. Go! Whoa, that's one for spirit. And one for Bob. And another for Spirit! Three fish to one, Spirit pulls ahead! Now, where are those bears? Over there! It's off Lip! Look out! Ooh, a miss from Paw Flip! Woo, we saw her dark body above us just in time! But where's Spirit? I don't see her. Ah, that's it! That could be why spirit bears have developed white fur. It helps them get more fish. Fish have trouble seeing them against the bright sky and frothy white water. Ah! Wow! That's another one for spirit! Hmm, wait! Chris? All right, spirit, I think you win. Yep, easy girl, you win, 10 to 6. And you even found Chris. <laughs> The experiment's over. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, please don't eat me. Oh. Chris, are you all right? Yeah. Ugh. So now we know. A spirit bear's white fur is harder for fish to see than a normal black bear's fur. That's why they catch more fish. <sighs> Where are we? Inside the beaver's lodge. Whoa! There's a whole beaver family in here. Hey, we, we know, know these beavers. beavers. It's Timber and Sticker. And Buddy. And Twig. These are the same beavers from the summer. You're right, Gavin. They are. When it was warm and everything was green and they were eating the leaves and twigs. But now it's cold and everything's snow covered and no leaves are growing. So what do these vegetarians eat in the winter? Well, whatever they have in the fridge, of course. Fridge. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> fridge. No, I'm serious. Beavers have a fridge. Of course. That's right. A natural fridge. 
Beavers collect branches with leaves and twigs in the summer, and they store them in the cool water right at the entrance to the lodge. The chilly water keeps the sticks fresh all winter, and <laughs> it's all right there whenever a beaver wants a snack. A natural refrigerator. That means the hardworking beaver has collected and refrigerated all the food the whole family needs for the entire winter. Can we just hang out with them and warm up for a little? <laughs> hey, Timber. Thanks for warming us up. You know, you might have the warmest fur in the creature world. Yeah, but it's time to get going. Uh, bro, we're frozen under the ice. Uh-oh, and in here. But there must be air holes so the beaver can breathe. You're right. All we have to do is find an air hole, and then we're out. And then can we play hockey? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Whoa, this beaver lodge really is an impenetrable fortress. And every air hole is too tiny for us to get through. I've got it. Beaver Power built this lodge, so Beaver Power can get us out. Hey, my Beaver Power disc is missing. Did you borrow it, bro? I don't think so. I can't find mine either. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> hey, I found mine. Oh, and yours. Why in the world did you put your creature disc in my boot? Oh. Activate beaver power! <laughs> Let's get these beaver teeth chewing. Wow, awesome! See you, Twig. Bye, buddy. Bye, Timber. Later, Sticker. All right, big guy. Where are you headed now? Hmm. What is that mound? Something's under there. <gasps> of course! Panthers hide food they can't finish and save it for later. It's called a cache, and it can last under the cool earth for days until they're hungry again. If only I could get just a piece of that for those cubs. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I do have panther power. One of the greatest, stealthiest creatures on earth. Now's my chance. Okay, okay, easy, guys. I told you, you can't snack on the babysitter. Did someone say snack? Martin, you made it. Oh, yeah, and I brought panther snacks. Ta-da! Yeah, I brought food for the hungry cubs. I am the panther provider, the greatest hunter in the swamp. You again? No! Hang on! That's for SWAT! He ate it! And he's still hungry! Crunch! SWAT! Oh no! Oh, Mama Panther! She's back! I can't believe it. A rarely seen battle between a Florida panther and an alligator. Gators will sometimes eat young panthers. And panthers will sometimes eat young gators. But standoffs like these usually end in a draw. She saved her cubs! Mama Panther to the rescue! And look! She even came with dinner! Looks like our cub sitting job is over! And here's our pickup! Found ya! Bye, Swan! Bye, Crunch! Mission accomplished! We found the rare Florida Panther! Awesome predator of the swamp! And we even helped them out a little bit. Yeah! Mom's leg is looking a lot stronger. <laughs> Look, Crunch and Swat are so happy to have her back. All right.
right, I'm ready. Find out how an osprey finds and catches fish. And then, with osprey powers, we'll be able to find the Tortuga Key. Oh, we're on it. So if we find an area with a lot of fish, we have the best chance of finding an osprey. Whoa! 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 Careful what you wish for, bro! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> we found a lot of fish, all right. Oh, but we're in the danger zone. Let's get higher to where the ospreys soar. Whoa! Osprey! All right, it worked. He likes mini us. When we're small size, he doesn't mind us flying with him at all. Osprey sidekicks calling floating turtle. Come in, floating turtle. Aviva here. Floating turtle, we're with the osprey. Are you ready to receive observations? Bring it, bros. Okay, it looks like the osprey starts his fish hunt by soaring. He can hold this flying position effortlessly because warm air rises up from the water. And he is scanning, watching the water. The osprey has incredible powers of sight. I mean, look at that eye. When I look at the water, all I can see is a glare coming off the water's surface. But osprey eyes have the ability to cut through the glare of the water's surface and spot fish silhouettes. When he sees a fish near the surface, he folds in his wings and dives. A diving osprey can drop to the water at 120 kilometers per hour. He always comes in at an angle so that the fish can't see his shadow. Then he swings his talons forward and... Splash! Grab the fish! Huh, suddenly he's got extra weight and has to work those pectoral muscles and flap his wings hard to gain altitude. Got it, guys. This is great stuff. But I need more info on the osprey's feet. What are they like? The talons are black, long, thin, and very, very pointy on the end. They are definitely used for gripping the fish. Hey, there's more. The toes. Each toe has hundreds of little hooks, and this must help to hold onto slippery fish skin. That makes sense. Ospreys have to have special gripping feet to grab slippery fish out of the water. I've got what I need. Aviva, okay, meet Jill and her babies. Joey, Lil Jack, Jojo right there, and... Hey, where's Jilly Bean? She's not in the pouch. Uh-oh. You're not looking for my backpack, are you? <gasps> She's looking for Jilly Bean. Her baby is lost? Aww. I can just imagine what must have happened. Jilly Bean is happily riding in her mom's comfy pouch when she sees thousands of colorful balloons rising through the forest. Jilly Bean reaches for one and... What? <laughs> balloons? In the forest? Well, I like balloons, but maybe that's not exactly what happened. Right, yeah, maybe I got a little carried away. Okay, more like this. Jilly Bean's happily riding in her mom's comfy pouch. She decides to reach out for a nice ripe cocoa plum, and she falls right out of her mom's pocket. Problem is, mom doesn't notice because everyone else is crawling all over her. And she heads off on her way. And little Jilly Bean is left all alone by accident. Oh no! Jilly Bean could be anywhere! This search just got a whole lot more challenging. Everybody fan out and keep your eyes peeled for a backpack and an opossum. Sample, Jill. This will help me make an opossum disc for the creature power suit and pronto. I'm sure you have some amazing nighttime powers that will help us with our search, even though we don't exactly have time to find out what they are first. Chris, Martin, first one here gets to search with an opossum disc. Me, me, me! Oh, me! That's a tie. No way! Martin's not touching home base. Hey, he's got a point. Woohoo! 
yes! Aw, that's a rip. But it doesn't matter. I've got two discs. Yes! <laughs> Just getting you here a little quicker. Activate, Activate opossum, opossum power. power. 